In this video, we will see Oracle number functions. It's going to be an introduction of Oracle mathematical functions, right? So let's start with a function called ABS, called absolute function, returns me absolute value. When I say absolute value, returns absolute value. That is, it returns positive value. So let's do this quickly. Let me do this. Absolute of minus 8.9 comma ABS of 8.9 will always return me the absolute values from dual. Right? It returns the absolute value. Absolute function returns even if you pass any negative value it always returns you the absolute value right that's the funda of absolute function and the absolute of uh, zero is nothing but it's zero only right so there is nothing like uh, a negative value so for absolute of zero you will see it's returning uh, absolute of zero right 18.9 8.90 so this is what absolute function does and then we do have a function called floor and seal. So these two things go together. So if I have a de right, um, uh, decimal number, floor gives me without the decimal part no rounding of the lowest value. And seal gives one high, one digit uh, higher, right? You add plus one to that uh, number without uh, the decimals. So uh, floor, right? For 10.2, floor returns value 10, seal returns value 11. So let's see this quickly, right? Select floor of 10.2, comma, seal of 10.2 from dual. There is no rounding of happens, right? It just returns the floor and the seal. So basically floor returns, floor of 10.2, seal of 10.1. So even though, even if it is 8, 10.8, 10.2, it will always return me, right? It always returns me 10 and 11 only. 10.8 floor, so it doesn't matter, right? Floor. Whereas if I try to do the same thing with uh, round, let's see what round function round does. Right, for this value, select round. It will round off to the nearest digit. So here, instead of floor, if I use round of 10.8 and round of 10.2, round will return me 10.8. For 10.8, round will return 11. And for 10.2, it will return 10 round function. 10.8, it's 11. 10.2, it's 10. Whereas anything greater than or equal to 5, it will round it off to the next integer. Right? If it's 10.5, the same value, if it is 10.5, it will round it off to 11. Right? 10.49 or 10.44, right? It still gets rounded off to 10. 10.49, let me see, 10.49, right, it's still 10, 10.49, 10. So what are the functions we have seen? We have seen absolute, floor and seal, round, okay, so round I can do it for any number of decimal digits. So I can say select round of 10.484, 483 comma I want to round it off to one digit so the output I will get is basically here the output that I'm going to get is 10.5 so what is the error message it's not 10 comma it should be 10 point so that's what this error message says right too many arguments because round is a function which accepts only two two parameters here we are passing three parameters right so now what you see is 10.483 gets rounded off to 10.45. If instead of 8 here, if we have 4, what will happen? Right? If instead of 8, if I have 4 here, what will happen is, if you see, 
it just returns 10.4 right so the it checks the digit i'm going to round it off to one digit after decimal it will check the second digit if it is eight it will return 10.5 that's what we have seen 10.4435 so this is what rounding of function does 10.44 10.483 what happens people might ask me what happens if i pass negative values so right for the round the second parameter if it is negative value it will round it off to the nearest 10 or thousands so right let me do this round 3 5 4 8 comma minus 1 so what it will do is in this case it will round it off to let's do this multiple times with minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and see what happens right rounding it off to the minus one digit so four eight since it's 48 it's getting rounded off to three five five zero and rounding it off to hundredth position so it's for since it's 48 it's rounding it off to right 3500 since it's 35, 5 greater than or equal to 5, we get rounded off to 4 digits, 4000. So now let me copy and paste this again. Instead of 4, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to have 6. And let's see the behavior, right? Instead of 4, if it is 6, let's see how the rounding off occurs. So here I will do it to 2. Right, let me select this and then run it as a script for comparison purpose. So, if you see 3568 minus 1, it gives me 3570, 68 comma minus 2, right? Uh, it's rounding off to 3600, right? It's rounding off to 3000 since it's two digit. Okay, so this is what round function does. Function mod returns me the remainder, returns me the remainder right let's say 11 divided by 3 here the remainder is 2 so what i will do is i'll say select mod of 11 comma 3 from dual 11 comma 3 mod function accepts two parameters 3 3s are 9 and the remainder is 2 so what you get is 2 whereas if i say mod of 11 12 comma 3 there is no remainder here so it will return me basically it will return me zero mod of 12 comma 3 will return me zero and we do have another function called sign so sign always returns whether a number is a positive number or a negative number you can find out using sign command sign of zero sign of 10 if it's a negative number it will return me minus one positive number one and if it's zero it will return zero Right, sign of minus 10 returns minus 1, sign of 0 returns 0, sign of 10 returns 1. So, sign is another function. And two more function which I can talk about is power and square root. Right, it's all mathematical functions. So, power of 2 comma 4, 2 to the, sorry, 2 comma 2. So, 2, 2 square basically. And square root of 4. Right, square root of 4 is 2, right? Uh, power of 2 is uh, basically 2 comma 2 is 4. So let me do this, right? 6 comma 2, 6 square is 36. Square root of 3 is, we all know it's 1.732 or something, right? So let me run this. Right, 6 comma 2 is 6 square is 36. Square root of 3 is 1.732050808. So these are all some of the mathematical functions that we have seen today. Right? Starting from absolute, absolute always returns the positive value. You have seen it with this example. Floor returns me only the floor value. Whereas instead of either 10.2 or 10.8, floor always returns 10 only. Whereas in case of round, 10.8 will return 11 if you don't give anything, right? So that's what we have seen. Round of 10.8 gives me 11. Round of 10.2, 10. 10.5 10. is also 11. Greater than or equal to 5, it gets rounded off to the next digit. So floor round we saw. 
round with uh, right after decimal how the rounding happens even that we saw 483 after decimal i'm rounding it off to one digit so since the second digit is greater than or equal to 5 you are getting it as 10.5 in case of if we go in negative it goes to 48 50 right 3500 and then here it's the 4000 so this is what uh, round does mod of 11 comma 3 2 uh, mod is the remainder sign returns me either a number is a positive or a negative number so in summary these are all some of the number functions that uh, you will come across which you might have to use so the one that we'll be using frequently is uh, seal uh, floor round all these functions right and even absolute absolute will use when i want to know only the difference and i'm not interested in whether it's the difference is positive or negative okay thank you